Hi, my name is Lexi Jong and welcome to my channel. So today I am going over my top five favorite bright lipsticks for the summer. So um, this one that I have on is one of the choices. This is a Lisa Eldridge lipstick. This is Skyscraper Rose. And this, I mean, if you just look at the bullet, they really look like velvet. They are so, so beautiful. So here is Skyscraper Rose on my hand and you can see it's a really bright, cool toned pink. And if you don't like things quite as cool, another really good option from her is Rainbow Spill, which is kind of like a, a warmer version of that. And I really love both of these, but I'm using Skyscraper Rose as my pick. That is what is on my lips right now. So I'll go through hand swatches of everything and then I'll show you guys lip swatches as well at the end. All right. so. My next choice is one of the Chanel lipsticks from, this was actually from the Holiday Collection, and to me it always seemed like it was more of a spring-summer color. So this is number 817. This is Rouge Splendide. And you can see here, it's just it's a really pretty color. So this is more of a it's a little bit lighter than the Rainbow Spill shade, but you can see that they have very similar undertones, but this is gonna be a satin finish. Moving on, we have one of the Guerlain Rouge G's, and this is number 61. Oh, my daughter was playing with it. She must have just broken it. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> this is, I mean, look at this engraving. Oh no. She was literally just in here a minute ago there. Oh, well, um, so anyway, this is 61. I have the limited edition bullet with the cherry blossom on the side, but the shade itself is part of the regular line. So that's here. And this is a matte lipstick from Rouge G. Um, but sorry, I just keep looking in the bullet to see, I mean, see my lipstick up there. Um, <laughs> Anyway, this is a matte finish from Rouge G and the mattes from them are not super matte. So they still have a little bit of a sheen. So they're kind of like in between, um, which is one of the reasons I, I like them. Now, an, my next choice is a lip crystal from Chantecai. And this came out during the holidays, but I believe they are still around in some places. So this is Rubelite and this here, I mean, look how shimmery that is. I do have a backup shade for this one. If you can't find this one, another one that is really nice. It's also a limited edition shade, but I think this is still around. This is from Givenchy. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, this is Sparkling Peony. And this is similar, but a little bit um, brighter pink. So that is Sparkling Peony. And this one... <sighs> I, was, I didn't want to put too many sparkly ones in my five, so um, that's why that's not in there because I wanted to include this one from Givenchy. This is my number five. This is Sparkling Lily, and this is an orange shade, but it's incredibly wearable. Usually orange shades on me, I don't really like the way they look on me, but this one has enough pink in it that, and it's sheer enough that you can really make it look good. Um, so those are my top five bright lipsticks, but I do have an honorable mention. And one of the things I really like to do, especially, um, with bright colors is use a lip pencil. And you know, if I don't, I like to put like just clear balm on top of it. So this is the Chanel, um, Le Crayon Levera Rose Framboise. So I think that means strawberry rose. This is number 182. And one side of this has a lip brush to kind of help you feather things out. And then we have the lip pencil here. So I'm gonna draw that on here. But it's a really nice vibrant pink shade. And I I really like using this just with some lip balm on top. So uh, it's not a lipstick, so I figured I would do an honorable mention for that. But this shade in particular is one of my favorites. All right, so stay tuned. I'll show you guys some quick lip swatches. Okay, so this is Skyscraper Rose from Lisa Eldridge. All right, and this is Rouge Splendide from Chanel. All right, 
Okay, this is number 61 from Guerlain Rouge G. And you can see that this matte shade still has a sheen. And this is the Chantecaille Lip Crystal in Rubelite. And I apologize, my lips are getting a little red from cleaning them. <laughs> And last but not least, we have the Givenchy. This is in Sparkling Lily. And again, the glitter in this is actually pink. So you can see kind of when I rub my lips together, a little bit of the pink base to this, which makes it a little bit more wearable for me. Okay, and last but not least, this is the lip pencil from Chanel in number 182, Rose Framboise. And I just traced my lips and started to color in a little bit and rub them together. And this is the By Terry Rose de Balm in a flasinette. I'm just going to add a little clear gloss on top. All right. And there it is. So again, this was the honorable mention. All right, thank you so much for joining me as I went through my favorite bright lipsticks for the summer. And one thing I wanted to mention is those of you who like bright lips but really don't want to invest in a lipstick because you wear it so rarely, um, my recommendation would actually be to go with a lip pencil like the Chanel 182. And the reason I picked that over a lipstick is because you're more likely to use up the pencil than you are the lipstick. And um, the pencil, you know, even if you don't wear it that often, you know, full blast like this, you can put this underneath other color lipsticks and get different looks. So if I put like a nude lipstick on top of this or something like a little bit too brown or whatever, or something with undertones that I kind of want to change a little bit, this can help with that. It looks great under red lipsticks. So it's just a little bit more versatile. So if you're somebody who doesn't really want to invest in a bright lipstick, I recommend starting out and trying out a bright lip pencil. So um, just my thoughts on those. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'd love to hear what lip colors you guys like for bright lips and I'll see you guys soon. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you guys have a safe and healthy day. I'll see you soon.